Today, we will talk about the significant events that have shaped the history of special education in the Philippines, presented by Group 5. And I am Maurice C. Aluno, your first reporter. In 1902, Fred Atkinson, General Superintendent of Education, proposed that deaf and blind be enrolled in schools because of the aim to educate and help Filipino children with disabilities. In 1907, David Barrows, Director of Public Education, he worked for the establishment of Insular School for the Deaf and Blind in Manila. In 1926, Pedro Santos, the first and only Filipino deaf whose expenses were paid by the government to the United States and went back to the Philippines, he established the Philippine Association for the Deaf. Next, in 1927, Welfare Bill Children's Village was established in Mandaluyong, a school for mental retardation. In 1945, National Orthopedic Hospital School was established for crippled people and unable to move and walk. In 1949, Quezon City Science High School for Gifted Students was inaugurated. The Philippine Foundation for the Rehabilitation of the Disabled was organized and started to help people with disabilities. In 1950, the PAD opened the school for the children with hearing impairment. In 1953, the LC Gaches village was established for the abandoned orphans and youth with physical and mental handicaps in Alabang, Muntinlupa. In 1954, RA 1179 an act to provide for the promotion of vocational rehabilitation of the blind and other handicapped and their return to civil employment. First week of August has been declared a site saving week signed by President Ramon Magsaysay. In 1955, first parent teacher work conference in special education was held at the school for the deaf and blind. In 1956, First Summer Institute on Teaching the Deaf was held at School for the Deaf and the Blind in Pasay City. And now, we may go on to the next reporter. During 1957, the Bureau of Public Schools, or BPS, of the Department of Education and Culture, or DEC, created the Special Education Section of the Special Subject and Services Division. The new section was created to provide specialized education services to students with disabilities or other special needs. It was included as part of the Special Subjects and Service Education Department, which was responsible for developing and implementing educational programs for various special population. During 1958, the American Foundation for Overseas Blind opened its regional office in Manila. This office was established to provide support and resources to people who are blind or visually impaired in the region. The foundation aimed to improve the lives of people with visual impairments by promoting access to education, employment, and other opportunities. During 1960, some private college and universities started to offer special education courses on graduate school curriculum. These courses were designed to prepare educators to teach students with special needs such as those with disabilities or learning difficulties. The courses covered a range of topics related to special education including assessment and evaluation, behavior management, instructional strategies, and curriculum development. During 1962, the Manila Youth and Reception Center or MYRC were opened. The Manila Youth Reception Center has continued to provide support and services to young people in Manila and has expanded its reach to other areas of the country. It has played an important role in helping young people overcome the challenges they face and become productive members of society. Next. 
1963, Republic Act No. 3562, passed on June 21, 1963, aimed to promote the education of visually impaired individuals in the Philippines. The law had several key provisions, including the formal training of special education teachers, specifically for blind children at the Philippine Normal College. 1965, the Elementary and Secondary Education Act was passed, and it provided funds for each school in order to have a proper environment for children with disabilities. 1967, Republic Act Number 7277, otherwise known as the Magna Carta for Disabled Persons, was enacted for the primary reason that persons with disabilities have the same rights as other people. That means we promote their full participation in society and integration into the mainstream of society. In 1968, the program must structure its program such that wherever possible, special education would take place in ordinary school facilities in order to uncover and identify outstanding children in need of each services. The program must also set up research and survey studies. In 1969, The center is a temporary residential caring institution that recognizes the nature, the rights, dignity, and potential of children in conflict with the law. In 1970, among all the decades in the history of special education, the 1970 made the most improvements to the lives of students who received special education. 1974, to aid in their integration and eventual retention in the general school system, common schools should offer educational opportunities to students with disabilities. In 1976, youth development and welfare have been among the new society's top priorities in order to sustain a strong citizenry in order to protect the welfare of children and youth and to outline their rights and benefits. In 1977, the coming into being of the West Visaya State University dates back to 1924 when it became an independent and distinct teacher training institution known as the Iloilo Normal School. I am Jenny and J. Obliga. Let's go on to the next series. In 1978, the Second International Conference on Legislation Concerning Disabled was held in Manila under the leadership of VFRD. From the time of inception in 1978, the VFRD or the Philippine Foundation for the Rehabilitation of Disabled served as the Commission Secretariat to assist the NCCDP board in the implementation of its objectives and functions. With the success of the important work begun during the International Year of Disabled Persons, the Decade of Disabled Persons 1981-1991 to was proclaimed for nationwide observance on December 17, 1981 with NCCDP as lead agency. In the 1979, Bureau of Elementary Education Special Education Unit conducted a two-year nationwide survey of unidentified exceptional children who were in school. In 1980, the School for Crippled Children at the Island Hospital in Cebu was organized. In 1981, the Deaf Evangelistic Alliance Foundation in Cabinti, Laguna. The Deaf College is situated in an ecologically strategic location. The school property is home to a small virgin forest, springs, streams, and rich wildlife. It is just a few kilom- kilometers outside of Caliraya Lumot Lakes and watershed and surrounded by a secondary forest. Public access to this natural wonder can only be made by entering Deaf College property. Year 1982, three special schools were opened. 
the Cebu State College Special High School for the Deaf, Shaton uh, Special Education Center, and the Division of Negros Oriental, and St. John Maria de Vianney Special Education Learning Center in Quezon City. In 1983, Batas Pambansa bilang 344 enacted Accessibility Law, an act to enhance the mobility of disabled persons by requiring cars, buildings, institutions, establishments, and public utilities to install facilities. And this year, Batak Special Education Center in the Division of Ilocos Norte was organized. In 1984, two special education programs were integrated. The Labangan Special Education Center, Division of uh, Cebu City, and the Northern Luzon Association, Heinz Walk School for the Blind at Baguio City. In 1990, the Philippine Institute for the Deaf was established, an oral school for children with hearing impairment. In 1991, the first National Congress on Street Children was held at La Salle Green Hills in San Juan, Metro Manila. During 1992, the summer training for teachers of the visually impaired started at the Philippine Normal University. It was sponsored by the Department of Education, Culture, and Sports or uh, DEX. The Resources for the Blind Incorporated or RBI and the Christoffel uh, Blinded Mission or CBM. Year 1993, DEX or Department of Education, Culture and Sports issued number 4 that directed uh, region offices to organize the Regional Special Education Council. In 1996, the third week of January was declared as Autism Con Consciousness Week. It is the first National Congress on Visual Impairment was held in Quezon City and uh, subsequently held every two years. Year 1997, Department of Education, Culture and Sports Order Number no. 1 was issued, which directed the organization of a regional special unit and designation of a regional supervisor for special education. Year 1998, Department of Education, Culture, and Sports, or DEX, order number 5, the reclassification of regional teacher and principal items to special education teacher and special schools principal's item was issued. And year 1999, this following events took place. Uh, DEX, order number 104, exemption of the physically handicapped from taking the net and a set. Uh, DEX, order number 108, strengthening of special education programs for the gifted in the public school. Um, Dex order number 448, search for the 1999 uh, most outstanding special education uh, teacher for the gifted. And the uh, memorandum number 457, the national photo contest on 70. And that's all po. Thank you for listening.